Welcome to this presentation of the Office add-in for Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. In this presentation I'm just going to use the add-in to build an ad hoc report. The report I'd like would simply be uh, some customer balances. Customer account, customer name, maybe credit limit, credit rating and a current account balance. So I'm going to start Excel and begin that report. So the office add-in appears as Dynamics AX inside of Excel. Now the first thing I need to do is actually uh, connect to AX. So on my logon, uh, so on my logon this is where I actually say which company I'd like to report from. Uh, and I do have some advanced things here if my AT connection is different. However, I'll just click OK. Have me logged on. So what I want to do now is actually build that report. So as we've seen, I can add data. So this list of tables or queries is actually defined in Dynamics AX. There's a form in AX where you say which tables are to be used or supported by the office add-in. I have open orders, customer collections, customer aging. So I don't actually see anything in here uh, that might be of, of assistance. If I go and choose add table, add tables. Uh, as described by Microsoft, this is more of an administration function. As you can see, it's just the AOT names. There are no labels or anything like that. And I could actually go and find Custrans. So I found Custrans. Uh, which is fine, and I can move that over here. Creating worksheets means it's going to create a worksheet, and let me begin. So I can't use Custrans, there are some fields on Custrans not supported by uh, the Office add-in. Typically they have um, a foreign key, record ID types of things. So I can't use Custrans as a basis of my report. I have to find something else. So what I actually will do instead is I'm going to go into AX. I'm going to look for a query in the AOT. The data I need, which is again simply customer a customer list uh, with balances. So in my new developer workspace, I'm going to have a look at what queries I have, actually, or what views I have, data dictionary views and just see what there is for cust customer table cube perhaps fields from cust table only open invoices but nothing about balances as yet nothing that stands out so I'm not going to I'm going to say there's no view available so we'll have a look to see what queries there are for customers. Customer balance list looks like the most successful one I'm going to have. It's got cust table and cust trans. And in my fields I can see here I have aggregation. So aggregation has to be set at a query level. I cannot, if I just want a customer balance, then I need to choose a query that has been defined with aggregation on it. It's not something that the office add-in can do per query or on the fly. You must have it defined in the AOT. So cust balance list is the query I'd like to use. So in the organization administration module, document management, document types. I'm going to add a new query in here called cust balance list. So I shall click on new and I'm going to say accounts receivable. So type query and the query name is cust balance list. And I'll do it and I'm going to activate this. I'll close this now. Add data. My cust balance list now appears in here. So I can now choose this as a data source. So I will choose it. Yes, so this seems to have a problem with that particular query as well. So, 
So I'm going to build a query and try exactly that. So I'm going to go into the AOT. In fact, I wonder if I can build a view. I'm going to build a view. I'm not too uh, technically savvy on building AOT queries. However, I am dangerous enough to build a view, a new view, and I'm going to call this Office Customer Balances. Of course, that won't compile. I need to add a data source, which I'm going to add Custrans. And in Custrans, I'm going to add a data source Cust table. Of course, so I'm going to browse this view. You can see simply account number, credit rating, credit max, and a current balance. New query. Office customer balances view query. query. And as a data source, Office customer balances as my data source. So, save that. I have an error. So I thought I could drop in the name of my query. It seems I cannot. So I'm going to try one other thing before I go another way. I believe in my add tables this might include views. So do I have my customer balance? Sorry, office. So I'm actually going to log out back in again just to see if my view comes through. Office customer balances. So that has not come through here, so this doesn't seem to be supporting views. It only seems to report tables. So I can't seem to get customer balances from a report authoring perspective using the Office Atom. I can't seem to find a way of getting my customer balance report out using Excel as an authoring tool, so I'm going to try another way. I'm going to go into the customer list page and export that out to Excel and see if I can then add in a column on my report. So all customers, I'm going to click on export to Excel. You can see this is creating a temporary Excel file. I should see a paint in front of me. And that's done. So this is refreshable. So if I delete this and using the Dynamics AX refresh, then that data will come back. So I'm going to go into my field chooser and see if I can find an account balance of some kind. Most of these fields are from the customer form. I certainly have my credit limit and credit rating. 
two of my field done with the all important customer balance I cannot seem to find when I come out of design mode or click on field chooser then refresh my data's come back so my data set the you know, I've got my customer list however I still cannot get a list of customer balances using the standard tool sets of Dynamics AX so I'm going to close this and I'm going to close AX and as this is an Atlas demonstration I'm just going to show you how quickly I can build a customer list report with current balances I'm going to go into my structured report designer so the basis of my report will be based on that customer transactions table uh, which is what I like I currently have a previously saved query of some customer balances so I'm going to choose that I'm just going to confirm the filters all filters is fine so that means all customers output columns customer account customer name and the sum of the amount and I can insert this into my workbook I can do a couple of other things in here I'd also like to go and add in a couple an additional fields the credit limit and credit rating for each customer and while I'm here I'm also going to bring in the customer group I want to change my report slightly so that I can group by customer group and I shall update my report so I now have a simple uh, exactly what I needed some customer balances in this case group by a customer group and bring that back out update my report and as Atlas has presented a figure inside Excel uh, that means Atlas can also drill down to show you the source transactions thank you very much for watching this presentation